Yes, Diener says it will use permits to force Duke Energy to clean up three of its existing coal ash ponds. Duke has been allowed to discharge coal ash water from local storage ponds into nearby rivers and streams, but regulators want to change those permits, which would force Duke to stop the discharge and clean up those ponds immediately. The Southern Environmental Law Center is not satisfied. The group released emails yesterday between Duke and Diener saying they showed Duke was able to pick its own punishment for coal ash pond violations. A member of the group told us today they have heard enough talk and want to see some action. As we sit here today, Diener is issuing press releases, Duke is writing letters, but no community in this state is one ounce closer to being safe. By law, Duke gets 60 days to respond to Diener's plan. A spokesperson from Duke told us they plan to do just that. Now, Duke Energy wants to move tons of coal ash currently held in Gaston County to the Charlotte Airport. The ash is stored just a few miles upstream from Mountain Island Lake, which is home to the majority of the drinking water in that area. This is part of Duke's response to the Dan River spill. Diener says the plan is not an adequate solution to the problem.